I'm going to say this real quick, and people ain't got to agree with me. People can sit on the internet and try to drag me. I do not care, but I'm going to stand on, I'm going to die on a hill on this one. So guess what? Rest in peace to that woman. But I'm going to tell you something. There's another video circulating right now of a black woman <laughs> and her son being harassed inside of a movie theater by one of them. Okay? And to the point where that lady got physical with that black woman. And um, hear me when I say this. Hear me when I say this. Whether I don't know if that woman got a man or not. But with everything that's going on right now, I'm really starting to realize the value of having a man in the house. I'm really starting to realize that. I'm really starting to realize the value of what it is to have a man for protection. Yeah. Because, mind you, I've been on that whole masculine, I can do it all by myself, I can do it all on my own, blah, blah, blah. But really, we cannot. And I'm going to tell you something, and people do not have to agree with me, but if you really take time and look from a different perspective, if there was a man in that home with that um, Miss Massey that got just recently got, a bl you know, gone away, if there was a man in the home, I promise you that man would have never let those police officers come into her home. He would have talked with them on the front porch. So in my personal opinion, I believe they understood that, that she was a single black woman by herself and they took advantage of that and they entered into her home and she was vulnerable. She was scared to the point where you saw her get up and go into her kitchen because that was the only place where she felt safe. But in my opinion, if there was a man in that house, a man would have never let two men with firearms come into their home they would have bet that man at the dough and I'm just saying I could die on a hill by myself with this one but I think it's time that we as women start being these damsels in distress and start taking value of what it is to have a man in the house because to be straight up it would have been a man between that th those police officers and her it would have been a man right there at the door. You get what I'm saying? So this really shook me into realizing the value of the, the, the black families. We need to rise up. There needs to be a man in the house. We got to stop pushing this single narrative. We do not need to be single out here. We need a man in the house. We need the protection, the security. Because when we have a man... That outside world got to approach us differently. You get what I'm saying? So the next relationship I get into, I'm very much going to value it like nobody's business. 100%. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Now the dummy gets it. At the 50 years, now the dummy gets it. And guess what? We not about to protect you. So Shalom, Yashua, I'm going to start off first things first, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakadash, which in the petty Hebrew tongue is the correct name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the prophets and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to you, sister, brothers, living this truth, and Shalom to you, brothers and sisters, that's listening and studying to show yourselves approved. So, woo a. Hey. All praise to Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh Shah. He is humbling these proud, wicked two third Eves. He's humbling them. And you know why that Eve had that revelation, Yasharallah? Because now they can't go to they, they de facto move no more. Because back then they put their reliance and they put their security in calling Esau, the police. Now Eve is starting to see that you can't call the police for your troubles. Because Esau will blow you you know shoot you in the face because he's the devil now the, the esau is showing the world who he really is and now he's starting to say oh ho ho my security is not in the so-called white man it's not in esau either now she's starting to see the value in her man and it's much too late she just said i used to be in a masculine spirit and i could do it all independent by myself so she got a lot of trauma with her and you already she's a single mother and men in this truth not checking for single mother we Matter of fact, Elder say, hey, be done with the so-called black woman. So she just going to be, you know, ass out. Because the destruction is coming. That's why she made that, that little clip, that little video. She feel the heat coming. So-called white man about to come down with great rides. And these single women are the most vulnerable. 
It can't. I'm, I'm just sitting here like, wow, it took you this long to see the value. And then, like, peep the game, y'all, Sharala. She still couldn't say uh, black man. She said the black family. She still couldn't give the credit to the black man because they're so wicked. They've been beguiled by the serpent, so-called white man. Um, they ran with that feminism movement. And I grew up in that, so I know all about it, y'all, Sharala. You know, it, it was going strong in the 90s. I got aunts that's all messed up, ain't got no man to this day. Or they got a man, he on his way out the door. Because they're wicked. Because that was poison. Feminism was poison. The Esau Edom put out there to infect our women with it so that she would cast off her man, the number one man on the face of the planet. Especially when he's in this truth. Really when he's in this truth. Because, well, she don't know, she's going to get her big old pookie in the Ray Ray. You know, a big gangster nigga thing, that's going to be protection, but uh, now nah, he's going to get ran through. The only men that's going to hold up against his wrath are men in this truth. You know, men of the Lord. Men of Yahweh Bashi Shai. And believe it or not, we still don't get our respect. Still don't. Because Eve is just so wicked and full of, you know, that, that drunk on that Babylon juice. We got men of the Lord who got with women before we got in the truth, and we still don't get our respect. So, when we ain't worried about it. Because guess what? When Jacob's trouble rolls out, because they still want to give us all the slack, vex us, talk noise to us, you know, when this destruction rolls out, we're not going to care when Esau Edom gets to unalive in these black women because we don't like black women. All they do is get problems up. Really, you're, you're used goods. And it's the purging. You need to go. You know how many black women don't talk crazy to me? Like, that's been Esau Edom's greatest weapon has been the black woman. They talk down on us, talk crazy to us. When you don't give them what they want or do what they say do, they've been a control mechanism. Matter of fact, well, I'll start with that letter. I want to start with this precept because now the Lord is making one prophecy happen. It's coming into light. So, like, because, boy, I got so many precepts, but let me... We're going we're gonna to sort we're going to walk this thing down slow. Because what we just heard right there from her was this precept coming to life. And I mean, it's coming to life in a major way. I'm hearing that. She's not the only one saying that. It's a lot of single black women, Israelite women, that are saying that. You know, so this is Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So the Lord is doing that right now. Now they're starting to see the value of an Israelite man. Now they're seeing it. You know, they've been living good off the food stamps, uh, the Section 8, of the, this nigga don't act right, I'm going to put him on child support, or I'll call the police on him if he don't do what I say do. You know, I got an uncle who used to go to jail all the time, my aunt just called the police on him. And brag about it. That that's a black woman's flex to call the police on you. Now, if she caught the police, most likely she'll lose her life. They're going to unalive her butt. You know, Esau, he, he's ready to go ahead and just lay it to Yasharala. So, now this huffer talking about, oh, next man, I'll give him a really value that relationship. You should have been valuing your relationships, dummy. I don't see that woman getting another relationship. Like, the so-called black woman's value is at an all-time low right now. I mean, the lowest. And then they got game running them so smooth. Guess who's scooping up these... Black men, I'm going to call them that, you know. Well, there's some Israelite men that got Edomite women. I'm, I'm going to say that, yeah. I'm going call it Israelite women. Guess who's scooping them up? Edomite women are scooping up Israelite men at a high clip. Because she's coming in, leaning in with her femininity, and she's being in order and obedient to that man. Because that's what she wanted, you know, All she always wanted the Israelite man. She just had to run game. On the Israelite woman, get her out the way. You know, they got all these songs. I don't need no man. They this independent spirit. That was all game. By Esau, even so-called white man. It was all game. To kick out, get rid of the Israelite man. That way I can use you and use your resources. You know, make you uh, subservient to me. That's why most, really, black women, they fit Edomite men. That's why they needed to go be with an Edomite man. Because they don't respect Israelite men. They don't, you know, care about us. They, they don't fit us. That's why I'm like, go take your butt over there. Get you an Edomite man. That's what you fit. That's who you respect. That's who you like. Go over there. You know, and they, they now they realize, oh, hold up. I had the best man. He's the most passionate man. He's the most loving man. He's the toughest man. Now, 
the black women are starting to see the value of the Israelite man. And that's that precept coming into play. I mean, strong. And it's going to be real strong when this devil is going door to door. And you got migrants, the MS-13 going to be going door to door, Russian troops, China troops. This place is about to get invaded. And everybody can clearly see it. And now who's the most vulnerable? The black woman. Said they're looking crazy. You know, so the Lord is freeing us. I'm going to go to this right here. Because the, the, the black woman, she's been a, a, a thorn in our sides, man. You give it a black woman, they're, they're not helpmates, man. Most likely they'll hold you back, uh, vex you, because they got all kinds of trauma, attitude, uh, very masculine energy, because that's where Esau put them at, they masculine. You know, they don't leave, they, they don't even know what it is to be a woman no more. Esau's totally stripped that from them. You know, so I'm going to go to uh, Isaiah 3 and 12. And it says, as for my people, children are their oppressors. The children goes in Esau, even so-called white man. He ain't nothing but a big old kid. Go check Donald Trump. They do like a big old seven-year-old. And as, and women rule over them. So what Esau did, just like the Woody Lynch letter, you know, they used that, that tactic. Esau put the, the so-called black woman over the Israelite man in order to keep us at the bottom. And she's been the best person to keep us oppressed because... Israelite, or I'm a, I ain't calling them Israelite women, black women. Black women destroy Israelite men mentally, and they'll try to destroy you spiritually. They've been over us. And Esau set that dynamic up so that we'll never rise over them, which now he can't contain us no more. Because we, man, we we, we giving the, the black woman the boot. You know, it says, and oh my, oh my people, they which lead thee, Caused you to err and destroy the way of thy past. So we're not listening to these old stupid, simped out, plantation Christian pastors. That was the leaders. Uh, your Steve Harvey's, your Tyler Perry's. We, it's like, man, we're not listening to them. We ain't even listen to our uncles. You know, the men that was above us. Because they got played too. All they do is simp out for these black women. Look where it got us at. So the leader of our community has been these black women. And the community's in shambles. Because the, the men vacated the leadership spot, listening to us, sipping out for these black women. And now what the Lord done did, he done raised up, you know, the real leadership. You know, we got real Israelite men to look up to now, you know, apostles, elders. And we're coming in that spirit with that, that masculine. We're coming with that spiritual now. And we telling these women, shut the hell up. You don't know shit. The devil's ran circles around you since you've been here. You can't do nothing about this devil. He done played you. You physically weak, you can't whoop him. And the only person who can do something about this devil is your Howard Shy, and he's gonna use his men to do something. So with that being said, I'm the leader. I can do something about this, so shut up. You don't know nothing. And we ain't put on no attitude, we will leave the black woman. Cause we're gonna get women anyway, according to Isaiah 4 and 1. And we don't need the black woman to bring the nation back. We create Israelites, the Israelite man. So they say, now we know our work. We're the highest value man on the face of the planet. Highest value man. You in this truth, you're a high value man. You need to walk and proceed like that. Because Lord willing, we're part of the whole flag. We're going to get the kingdom of heaven. And we make Israelites. We can make that with any race of women. We don't need the Israelite woman. The Israelite woman need us. I always understand that, Israelite man. So, with the point now, we're, hey, we're not dealing with Keisha's no more. We're not dealing with ratchet women no more. They're about to get purged out. They about to starve to death. Esau about to put a bullet in their head. <laughs> they think they're going to say they stuff they microchip and no, they're not. And now they're starting to see the value. She's behind, you know, she's behind the A-ball. She did not see the value of a man. She ain't even found out who the real men are. The real men are the men in this truth, man. Under Yahweh Bashmi, how was shot. It said she got a long way to go. She's still calling herself black. She ain't even found that she's an Israelite yet. You know, so they just getting a the clue because really that's the fear of the Lord that's popping up on them. That's what that is. The fear of the Lord is really popping up because now Esau's been made bare. Uh, he's the bloody, he's the, 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 the wicked man. He's the reason the earth is in shambles. Everybody's starting to see that. And now. The Israelite man is finally starting to get some value. 
We've been the best man. Could no other man go through what we've been through and still be here and still operate? Esau couldn't have went through that. He's the thief. He's the robber. He's the weak man when you really think about it. But that's who Keisha gives up praise to. And now she's starting to see like, oh, this man's no good. So now she's trying to double back on the Israelite man. He over there messing with Becky. <laughs> you know, she vacated her spot and her, her job has been given to somebody else. And it, it's like, man, I'm just loving what the Lord is doing, man. It is so funny to me. Like Esau going down and Keisha, the black woman, is going down right along with him. They're going down together. The serpent and Eve are going down together. And the Lord is lifting us up. We get to pick of the litter. So they say, well, the Lord making us righteous judges. We going to pick who we want to deal with, who we don't want to deal with. And it's like women need to understand that and act accordingly. We're not going to put up with that mouth and talk and noise. Like, Bitch, I nigga, you better do this. And I need this and I need Birkin bag. And we're not putting up with that. All these Tatiana's going to get pushed to the side. We're not dealing with that no more. You know, things are getting serious. <laughs> And hey, I'm loving what the Lord is doing. Matter of fact, let's go get that too. Because I got a lot of loud mouth black women in my family who don't know nothing. Don't know nothing. I just got to argue with my grandma. She's trying to tell me to go vote for uh, Kamala Harris. And I just had to give her that look like, oh my Lord. Like, and you're supposed to lead the next batch of generation of, uh, of black women? No wonder all these black women messed up. See, he devils did a number on us in the 70s, which I got a, some information I'm going to bring out on that. So I'm going to bring this out right here because all these black women, they loud mouths, uh, always running their mouth and don't know nothing. Need to shut up at this time. That way you can learn and figure out what's going on and maybe an Israelite man to deal with you. So this is Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. <laughs> you know? And my grandmother proved that to me today. And she is that. She's a clamorous woman. She, she's a, I call her a professional arguer. She loves to argue. She don't need no facts. She argues off of total feelings. And I've learned, you know, just watching my grandpa, like, don't even start arguing with her. You can't win. She will argue, holler with her heart, cry. And that's just your, that's your average black woman. They just all of them mostly like that. A good percentage. They love to argue. Uh, talk noise be loud and think they know something don't know nothing that's how the devil's been able to dominate because he used Keisha's he used the black woman to get his you know agenda across because the black woman she'll destroy her community she'll destroy her children I got aunts that have destroyed their children and she'll destroy that man if he allow it The black woman is nothing but a mini version of Esau, a minion for Esau, you know, and, and they get game ran on them because they, they lack wisdom. And it started, I noticed they really ran a number on us in the 1970s, Joshua. I noticed that's when they really, really sunk their teeth in on us as a nation. We've been messed up ever since. We had little sense in the 50s. We had some fighting us in the 60s. When the 70s came... Hey, they they ran through this place. They ran through us as a nation like hey, a hot knife through butter, man. We over trying to pick up the pieces. So I'm going to bring out some information. Because what they're full of is feminism, which is poison. You know, and here goes the face of a devil who helped spread that in our community. Her name was Gloria Stein. Them. So check it out. See, that's that's an ish person. So she's from the, the chief tribe of Edomites. So that's why her program ran so good, man. Gloria Steinem, you know, we're going to read a little bit about her re uh, research there. So it says she's a, uh, a social activist, a writer, an editor, and lecturer. Gloria Steinem was born in Ohio in 1934. Steinem helped create New York Magazine in the 1960s. That's, that was the, the old way of media. And then in the 1970s, she's among the founders of the National Women's Political Caucus and the feminist Miss Magazine. You know, she got diagnosed with breast cancer in 19... I don't care about that. Uh, we'll read about where she started her thing. Check this out. Pioneer feminist. After finishing her degree in 1956, Stein had received a fellowship to study in India. Check that coincidence out. We got Kamala Harris running for office, and she's a uh, 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 Elam, East India. She first worked for the Independent Research Service and then established a career for herself as a freelance writer. 
She was in a think tank. This is all agenda. Once her most famous articles from the time was a 1963 expose on New York City's Playboy Club for Show Magazine. Stein went undercover for the piece, working as a waitress or a scantily clad bunny, as they called them, at the club. In the late 1960s, she, she helped create New York Magazine and wrote a column on politics for the publication. Stein became more engaged in women's movement after reporting on an abortion hearing given by the radical feminist group known as the Red Stockings. She expressed her feminist views in such essays as after black power. So after the civil rights movement, here come the feminist movement. And Eve, oh, ignorant, dumb, but the black woman went right into it and got away from the Israelite man. It says women's liberation. So they felt liber. You know, Eve feels liberated now. She, I'm independent. I don't need no man. No other race of women I know to champion that. Only Eve, dumb, but champions that. And that's that they say it's the same move, y'all, Shrala, when the serpent beguiled Eve in the garden and told her she's a god. You know, basically told her to go against Yahweh and go against Adam. It's the they do the same move over and over and over again. And these dummies fall for it. But now they're starting to wake up. Because Esau's being violent again. Now they oh, I need a man. I need a man. After that, champion art, like I said, the music. The media. See how she did? She used the media, magazines, publications. Then it went to TV. Then it went to celebrities. They called them the Red Stockings Crew. So that's the information. That, that, these devils, they, they slick, man. That's why Yahabashah called them a serpent. They have think tanks. They set her in a plot on the nation of Israel. And the person who falls for it all the time, every single time. It's always Eve, the black woman. She never listens to her man. She listens to the damn serpent. And now her reward for that is going to be what it was in the garden. You're going to get death. That's going to be their reward. And as Israelite men, we don't care. The Lord don't put a strong spirit on us. We like, uh, we ready for you to go. Because you ain't nothing but a damn headache anyway. Shoot, all they do is, is vex and get on your nerves. So now that all this stuff is coming, because, hey, we, we get, man, our women don't respect us, man. They do not listen to us. Um, Nothing we say, it, it really goes. It just, they always want to project they bullshit on us, which is always something stupid. Because they think they smart, but really they're dumb. Yo, yo, every, yo, your average black woman is really dumb. They have the dumbest conversation. They be low vibrational. And, it, and it, like, they just full of a bunch of Esau's rhetoric. And it gets real annoying to listen to. So I just want to bring that fan. And it's so bad. This is how bad you know it is, Joshua. Because <laughs> I said something early. The older Eves are now tired of the younger Eves. So the sisterhood is breaking up. So call how long you have about you shot for that. Because the sisterhood is about dying. You know what's thriving right now? The brotherhood. It's true. <laughs> we thriving. They going down. So check this out. I want you to hear this rant. By an older you know, black woman. Because she's tired of them, too. Because I was like, what the heck, man? How dumb are y'all going to be? And I hate that look, too. When I see that gelled down baby hair and that colored hair and them fake eyelashes and all the BBLs, that lets me know not to mess with you. Uh, piercings and all of that in your nose. That, that I love that they do that. Because when you show your stuff like that, that lets us know it's demons on you and, and stay away. I don't even say nothing to when I see women like this. I don't want a good morning. I don't say nothing to them. Don't say nothing to me. Because I work with a bunch of those in one of my other jobs and they all look like that. They got the same look. And it's ugly. Like right there. That, that's ugly. And they don't even wear their own hair. They wear fake weave. Like we don't even like weave. Why are you wearing another woman's hair? That shows you destroyed and you stupid. You want to lecture me about... What I need to do and do this and what I need. Hell, for you can't even rock your own hair. You know, <laughs> me not get too much in the ram. I'm going to play this right here. We're going to get to the scriptures. Because, boy, I can go in on these black women. Because, boy, are they so out of order. And now the Lord is putting that fear on them. Because now they, they, they can't run to what they used to run to. Because Esau now is showing that he's done with Eve. Like, you served your purpose. I've used you up. And now I'm just going to unalive y'all. And that's what Jacob's trouble is. We coming into this. So check out old school Eve. Cause hey, she's gonna go off way worse than what I'm going off. She's mad because they're dumb. So check it out. Pre 
proof. Most people don't use their brain. I can honestly see why so many black men get up here and talk shit about black women outside of them being bullied as a child. Because it's been nothing but black women coming on my post, taking up for Kamala, for locking up so many innocent black people for smoky smoke. But then turn around and in the same breath and scream at Republicans for protecting police officers that lock up innocent black men. Y'all are starting to sound highly uneducated. And I'm sick of it because you make real black men and lady queens like me look like we don't have an itch of education. Take off somebody else's hair and stop wrapping it blue shit around your eyebrows and take that fucking glue from off your brain and then maybe you can think where your natural shit for a while so you can see real and not fake because that back on track program was some bullshit how the hell did you gonna offer people to admit to guilt instead of offering them real representation maybe funds to help them get a fucking lawyer to represent them i'm starting to believe and be convinced that y'all are just mad because these black men ain't out here wifing you y'all the same black women that praise chris brown and all these celebrity men but they not wifing you either boo they're all getting foreign bitch y'all say the most ignorant ass shit we sit up here trying to fight for our kings for real and y'all listening to what the democrats saying ain't none of y'all doing no motherfucking research just repeat the same shit group think it's a real disease y'all the same bitches that sit up there and listen to music to tell you we don't need our men and spend your money on what they represent so they can pull the money out your pockets so you won't have resources for your school but y'all think they for you because they make you feel good and shake your ass to the beat if y'all don't like to read then just say that and y'all gonna still be the same bird brain head ass that sit up there and listen to all these celebrities that's gonna tell you how to think and feel and who to vote for. But you don't know who the f they meeting up behind closed doors at these meetings. Mm. Mm. Proof. Most people don't use... And you heard it. Hey, old school went off on them. Like, hey, they need to take heed of that. You know, sit somewhere, sit down somewhere and think. And heal. Go get in order. Read these scriptures. Is what these helpers need to do. And get right. Because like I said, man, hey. This, a lot of black men is getting got their passport. They're going overseas to get wives. They're not dealing with black women over here. The black woman's stock is low. Very low. They got nasty attitudes. The worst attitudes of all women on the planet. Um, They're not fit. All they're doing to do is stress eat. And then, and then think somebody gonna want that. They're like, it's just, man, straight insanity when I look at the so-called black woman. You know? And all you few righteous sisters in this truth, man, y'all better, woo, praise your how about you, I was shy that y'all ain't out here like these old deal heads, old dum-dums. Like you said, that glue is getting in there, they perm is saturating their brain, and they just can't think for nothing. And they just out here messed up. And now the fear is hitting them. Cause I want to go get some. Where, where is that at? Because their fear is hitting their butts, man. There it go. Proverbs 9 and 10. Let's go back to Proverbs. It says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. So that's the fear of the Lord getting out. When that police officer, that Edomite, you know, blasted Sonya Mason in her face, they struck fear in these black women. They can't look for the Edomite man for protection. They can't call him over to feel protected. And we've been telling them that for I don't know how long Edomite man wants to unalive you. I mean, been doing that all throughout history. Lynching, I mean, <laughs> that's what I said. They need to sit down somewhere and just think, you know? But they just, uh, in this consumer spirit, where they just consume, eat, and buy stuff. And want to spend and go shop and do a bunch of this dumb stuff. They don't do nothing on uh, building, self-reflecting. None of that is in the black community. It says, and knowledge of, of the holy is understanding. Only way a woman going to get this understanding is she got to humble herself and listen to the prophets which come from men. Israelite men. You need a man to get wisdom. Wisdom comes from men. See, the black woman put on this pedestal so high and mighty. She, I got my degree. I'm educated. And I got a car in the house. I'm this and I'm that. You know, you start putting on this pedestal. And really, when society breaks down, none of that stuff means nothing. And now they're starting to see. And now that your attitude is so funky and all messed up, no Israelite man wants you. They got all kinds of babies from different dudes. Nobody want to be in your little messed up situation. 
your whole life is really shit. You just thought it was good because the devil told you it was good. It's like man ain't told you that was good. We've been telling the black woman we don't like the weed, we don't like this, we don't like that. You know they listen to they didn't even listen to Esau or a DL Momo out J. The celebrity, like the uh, the old school setting the thing, a celebrity. That's who's been running the black community. If we not on TV, we ain't got celebrity status, the black woman is not going to listen to us. Like that precept said, where is it at? It said, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. They need to understand the scriptures to heal themselves. They need to get in order. They need to humble themselves, which the Lord is doing that. But it's too little too late. I don't see, I know a lot of men in this truth and they're not searching for black women. That's the lowest of the low. So you know what that means? And the apostle Elder said all the time, the majority of the two thirds are women. They're just going to get their judgment and we not going to care because you need to go. The number one person that gets on my nerves every day is the black woman. I'm on the job. I make sure I stay far away from the black woman. Because she's going to give me the most hell. You no, know, it might be how you doing, nice day, or help you out. Not the black woman. Because they got funky out of they mad. Because of how the gangster niggas done did them. And I'm like, you shouldn't even went for no gangster nigga, dummy. They go for the worst of us. Get did bad. Uh, got babies. Got a lot of all, a bunch of demons in them. Because like, they been ran through. Then they want to come to a good man and, and they get mad because the good man don't want them. What type of data strategy is that? And they don't learn. You'll see each generation use the same strategy. Which shows they're just really, really stupid. And we're at the point now where the Lord, he's going to do something great for us. He's just going to get rid of your butt. <laughs> you know? Get straight rid of you. To where we ain't got to hear your mouth no more. Now all of a sudden this devil is through with you. Now they want to run back on this side of the fence. No, no, keep that same energy. Go over there with Esau where you belong. And have him save you. You know, which since I say that, bring up this precept right here. Right here. Because they talk noise to us. We on the highway ahead, you look down on us. We get our most messed up looks from the so-called black woman. Now, the northern tribe, we've had a couple of them come over, you know, uh, listen you know, see what's going on, but the black woman, Southern Trap, oh, no. We even had one of those call the police on us. We've had a black woman call the police on us, try to shut the ministry down. It didn't work. I'm just saying that just shows you, though. That's been our biggest enemy, Yasharala. You know, talking to Israelite man, if I be 100, that's been like, as far as Esau, the biggest enemy next to us been the, 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 the black woman. We lay down with the, we sleeping with the enemy. <laughs> You know, so this is Micah 7 to 10. It says, then she that is my enemy. Woo, see, the Lord laid it out, man. That's why these scriptures is on point. Can't nobody tell me nothing different. He said, then she that is my enemy shall see it. And Eve is starting to see it. The black woman starting to see it. Like, hold up. Dang, the Israelite man was right. Esau Edom is the devil. And shame shall cover her which said unto me, where is the Lord thy Yahweh? You know, all these women before we got to that nigga, that, that, oh, that, that, that not my God. That ain't it. You in a hate coat. I used to, I used to hear that. Now shame is covering them. Just like we just seen in that opening clip with that Eve. Shame is covering her. She all like, that was me. I used to be masculine, independent. Now we need to, oh, we need our black man. We need it for protection. Dummy. Esau made you get away with your protection. Now you want to run back to us, but now you're filthy. You got about 200 bodies on you. Nobody want that old broke down, decrepit, all them demons on you. That's why we can't get along with the black woman. She got too many spirits in her. Now you want to, now you see the value of a man. Now you want to get right. And that's the Lord doing that, you know? So it says, my eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. And we're going to rejoice at that. When Esau yanked these, I'm not going to shed a tear when I see Esau yanking Eve's out their houses and, and, you know, gun button her and unalive her. Like when I seen Sonya Massey, I didn't feel no type of way about that. I'm looking at her like, dummy. First of all, you shouldn't have let him in your house. Second of all, you shouldn't even went over there to the, the boiling water 
Because I knew he was going to try to use it and say, oh, oh it's a weapon or you're going to throw it on me. Sure, set your butt on the couch and dismiss some devils out your house. But no, you believe in that devil. So she got what she deserved. And I, 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 didn't, I didn't feel no type of way about that. And that's going to be happened to a lot of ease moving forward in Jacob's trouble. She's going to be trotting down as a mile of the streets. And they're going to ravish you. All the chicks spending their last money to get BBLs. Yeah, these little, these little uh, heathen dudes. Man, they're going to yank them out of the house, ravish them, and unalive her butt right in the streets. And even if she go get the mark of the beast, the microchip, Esau's still going to unalive your butt or starve you out. So like the scripture said, she shall be trodden down the mire of the streets. So all these hardcore eaves that's been talking noise to the Israelite man. All this noise. We ain't this. We ain't that. We broke. We ain't got no money. We trifling. We don't do this. We don't do that. They about to get their judgment. Yashra Allah. They about to get messed up. I say for you few righteous sisters, you very few righteous sisters in this truth, you ought to thank the Lord. You know, you might have the Lord might have mercy on you. you no know, Israelite man might have some mercy on you. You know, Lord willing, we part of those men, we get the power. But that's where your Savior going to come from. Your house shot going to save us. And then we're going to have the power to save, you know, whatever Israelite women we want to deal with. But we ain't going to have to save no weave hat, loud mouth, talking noise. Don't even know the Lord's name type of woman. No, we're going to sit there and watch her get her just reward. We're going against the Israelite man and going against your high by shot. We're not saving no black women. If you don't know you're Israelite by now, you don't deserve salvation. You will be like this precept did. You'll be trodden down as the mire of the streets. And that's what he's about to do. He's all about to yank out Eve, throw him in concentration camps. Man, this devil about to get busy. And she don't even know it. She done spent all the money up on weave, uh, purses, clothes. Stupid stuff. Your average Eve is not prepared for what's about to go down. She don't even know it's about to go down. Her dumb butt is getting ready to vote for uh, Kamala Harris. And thinking she about to keep living lavishly. You know, but a lot of them, hey, they, they getting shot down already. They they living in their cars. Uh, about to get evicted from their spots. The Lord is casting down these proud Eves, Yasharala. Right in front of our faces. Matter of fact, I'll end off with that. That woman at ease with the opening precept. Oh, but right here, I'm, I'm, I need to bring this out too. Because this backs up that, you know, the men is going to have that value. So before I get to that, let me get to this one. Oh, matter of fact, it's, it's in this chapter. So I want to go to Isaiah 32 and 2. And it says, And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a convert from the tempest. As rivers of water in a dry place and as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So the man has the value. He said, my, the pasture of my flock are men, loose to paraphrasing. The man has the value. We've been having value. As Esau told y'all that we didn't have no value. Because a lot of us, and the truth ain't got no money like that. Y'all don't see value in us. You only see value in the celebrities that's on TV. Because Esau done laced up his pockets. But them dudes ain't even got their manhood. They had to get a manhood up to get that big money. See, most E's don't even know that. They didn't even figure it out Hollywood. Because they just, they, they stupid. Because that should have been found out. They're just really, really slow. Your, your everyday black woman is really, really slow. You know? So this is what's going down with them now. And wait, I'm going to finish breaking that down, though. When it said, uh, I, I, think, that, I think that's like self-explanatory. You know, it's basically saying, like, as rivers of water and dry plate, like, we're going to be the relief. When all hell break loose. They said a shadow on a great rock in a weary land. You know, you get some shade in the hot heat. Hey, you thank the Lord that you got that, that shade in that hot heat. Like, we're going to be the relief. Because we are the warriors of Yahweh Bashiach So we're the ones who can stop this devil. You know, we're just waiting on Yahweh Shah to give us the power. And that's when we'll get the respect from our women. We, 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 we can't get it now. I noticed that we don't get it now. Because they look at us as some old, angry, black men talking noise with scriptures. But once we get that spiritual power, that standard get lifted up, then our women will respect us because then we'll have that glory on us. But first, Yahweh Shah got to get the glory. And then when Yahweh Shah get the glory, he going to get the glory to us. You know, it's like a hand-me-down. You know, uh, Yahweh Shah waiting on Yahweh to give him the go. And then when Yahweh Shah get the go, he going to hand us our crowns. You know, the Israelite men that's in this truth. And then we get our crowns, then we get our glory. 
then we get our respect. Then the women go, no, oh, these are the men of Yahweh and hey, we we gonna handle harshly with these heathen nations. So check this out, man. End off. This is Isaiah thirty-two and nine. It says, uh, "Rise up, yea, women that are at ease. Hear my voice, yea, careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech." Careless daughters is what your so-called black woman is. She's careless. She's careless with raising her children up. That's why they got these little monsters. They made babies with these ignorant niggas. They done laid down with. The ignorant nigga done grew up to be, you know, another ignorant nigga that they can't deal with. They don't respect the man or have a man to even get the household in order. And they're careless. They don't do anything to really, you know, help them out in the future. They just want to spend money out to eat, uh, buy clothes, purses. Or do whatever, you know, whatever Eve is doing on the social media. You know, like like that old school Eve said, a group think. They just think all the like and want to do stupid stuff. Because they're careless. That's why they have so many problems. Because they're at ease. Who put them at ease? Esau, even so-called white men put them at ease. Oh, you ain't got to uh, worry about buying no food. Who go food stamps? Oh, you ain't got to worry about a place to stay. I got Section 8. So what did they do? They put Eve, Eve at ease. And it made her have this complex, you know, entitlement. Like, it made her think she's better than the Israelite man. I've heard a lot of black women say that because they got a spot and they got food to eat that they talk noise on the black man. I'm like, you getting that off of, uh, you know, off the off the system. How, how, how can you sit here and think you better when you getting this because you done had the Israelite man's child? Based on this child is why you get these benefits. So that was all game and it worked on the black woman, you know, and they said, give ear unto my speech. These goddamn black women don't want to hear us on the highway and hedges. They be looking at us like, I wish y'all shut up. And we over trying to tell them, like, Esau coming with that sword. Esau about to uh put that gun to your head. And they didn't want to hear us. But now that the Lord is showing that, because everybody's seen what happened to Sonya Massey. Now I, I'm looking at the highway and I think I think some might stop and listen now because now it's getting scary. Now they're scared. You know, um, the, the economy is crashing. You know, you got World War Three bubbling up. You know, some of them starting to watch the news to see that, you know, it's going to be troops coming over here. They're already here. You know, the migrants, they're already here. So now she's starting to see her place like, oh, shoot, I'm really vulnerable right now. Like, this white man, he played me. You know, let me go over here and, and get this Israelite man. And, you know, and the Israelite man, we've been, hey, especially you single brothers. Y'all know y'all been living y'all best life. <laughs> Your best life. And now they're trying to double back, and now they're starting to see the value. Now they want an Israelite man, and I, I don't see a lot of, especially men in the truth. I don't see them messing with a lot of these women that's in the world. I really don't see it, you know, because you got the stench of the world on you. You stink to us, and like, especially you talk a lot of brothers have been in the truth for a minute, <laughs> like the pastors, elders, and woo, hey, you so say anybody think what I'm talking about is bad? Hey, you don't want to hear the pastors, elders talk about the black woman, you know. So we they they we are we just waiting on you to get your judgment. Really, we just waiting on it. And it says, Many days of years shall y'all be troubled, yea, careless women, for the vintage shall fail. And it's failing. What's that vintage? Oh, the American dream. Uh, you're gonna have a future here in Babylon the Great America. That vintage is failing. This place ain't got no future no more. And it says, and, and the gathering shall not come. Oh, wait till that famine hit. Ain't no food out. And as they're going to run to their daddy again, Esau eat him, and he's going to give him a mark of the beast. And he still probably ain't going to feed him. You know, that he's going to play him again. So the vintage is failing. So check out verse 11. It says, tremble, tremble, yea, women that are at ease. Be troubled. They troubled. I see it's a lot of black women that's going down right now. Yea, careless ones. Strip ye and make ye bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. Verse 12. They shall lament for the teats. You know, they, they're suckling. You know, they they going back. They, I heard so many black women. I miss the 90s. I miss the 80s. That's them wanting that old thing back. For the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. That back to what I just said. Verse 13. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns, briars, yea, upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city. You know, so all that's getting broke down, man. The vintage is failing. Uh, what they used to get, they're not getting no more. Uh, inflation is kicking in because the dollar is failing. And now they're like, dang, I need help. I need I need a, a black man. You know, that's now what I'm starting to hear. I'm going to see it all over YouTube. TikTok. They all holler. Now the value is kicking in. That's the Lord showing the value of a man. And the value is really going to kick in 
when the spiritual power kick in. That standard get lifted up. So I say, all you brothers in the truth, just hang on, man. Isaiah 4 1 is going to kick in. We're going to have the pick of the litter, who we want. See, right now, black women got the pick of who they want. They get all the choice. I mess with him. I don't mess with him. Oh, he broke. Oh, his car ain't good enough. You know, every, all the power is in their hands right now because they do Esau Edom, the so called white man's bidding. But see, Esau Edom is losing power. The white man's losing power. And if he's losing power, the black woman's losing power. As they lose power, guess who's getting power? The Israelite man. And the Lord is going to put everything in our favor. The whole game is going to reverse. All the tables going to, everything going to reverse. And we're going to pick and choose what we want. You're going to have to respect us. We're not going to pay all that talking and, I want this, and I want that. You're not doing what I say, too, and I, you ain't buying what I want. That. Hey, we're going to be like kings, off with your head. Like, what was that, Nino Brown in uh, that movie? Uh, what was that movie? New Jack City? Cancel that bitch. That's what we're going to say. You know, it's like my French, but we're going to be like that. We're not going to put up with no mess in the kingdom. We ain't putting up with mess now. You either get right or you can get gone. I'm not about to hear your lip and all your noise. And the devil about to come down with great wrath and you bothering about stupid stuff that don't even matter. I, I can go my, my merry man and be cool. We looking for the kingdom. I don't know what these helpers is looking for or what they doing. They just flapping in the wind. And they don't understand that the Lord is putting power in our hands right now. We can either deal with you or not. We can tell you to man, get up out of here. So if women want mercy, guess what? You better start acting right to the Israelite. You better get in order. And the best thing, the way to heal yourself is getting these scriptures, man. The Lord say, be quiet in the church. Shut up. Through a lot of these black women, you do shut up. Open your ears and start learning something. Find a man that got wisdom, which is these men in the truth, and listen. You don't know. You been getting played. And it's either do that or you get unalived. Just like I said earlier, the Israelite man don't need the Israelite woman to make an Israelite. We got the seed. We make the nation. Nation is on our backs. We deal with who we want to deal with. The Lord gonna put the power in our hands. You know, you got some women getting right. Like they, shoot, they call they man Lord already. They they getting in, they getting in formation already. Cause they ain't stupid. Cause they know where their salvation is coming from. You know? And I tell you, sister, stay on track. You know, we on track. We trying to get praise from Yahweh Shah. And you need to get that praise, you know, that that uh, that love and mercy from your man. So treat your man right. Because you got a man in the truth, you got the highest value man on the face of the planet. But you got some women don't even realize that because the world is, is in them. They're on that Babylon juice, but we don't care because you'll just get casted out and we'll get the women that, you know, are going to be in order and, you know, going to cater and treat us good. Because we about to get pampered. That's why I say just hang on, you men of Yashar Allah. Our value is skyrocketing right now. <laughs> he went, I need to get me a man. <laughs> you know, all these women scrambling for men. <laughs> you know, even worldly men ain't messing with these women, man. That's how bad they are. Nobody wants them. They've been too defiled by all Esau's rhetoric. Even Esau's own woman don't want him. She wants the Israelite man. <laughs> You know, these devils is through. And the black women is through right along with them. They will go down to gather because <laughs> they've been in a partnership. Ain't nothing holding us back no more. The Israelite man is about to be uplifted. And the value is going to be there because Yahabasha is going to give us that value. Like the scripture said, I'll make a man more precious to find gold. Not a woman. A man is going to be that gold. Find gold at that so with that being said you know i hope this is edifying i hope it's encouraging i want to say kwam yasha allah hey stay locked in this truth because your house is quickly on the way shalom